Hello, Eastside. I'm Coach James Wicks, defensive coordinator at Garfield High School. Been here since 1998. Uh, first three years was on the uh, Frost South level. Oh, I'm looking at the light, I'm sorry. First three years on the Frost South level, and then varsity uh, since then. Uh, beginning of the year, obviously we played a tough cathedral team to start it off, but I was pretty proud of the defense, the way they played. I don't think the score was, you know, vindicative of how we played. I think we played better than what the score showed. And just trying to grind with these kids ever since last year, them being very young and trying to teach them how to study, how to prepare, how to win games, and that the games are not just won physically, they also won mentally. Uh, and we're coming a long way. We're getting better. The kids are understanding um, how to prepare. And that's, that's, that's what I'm most proud of. And they just play hard. They're just some dogs. They're football players. They've been football players all their life. And if they don't know anything else, they know how to play football. They know how to hit, run, and uh, fly to the ball, which is something that, I'm, that I want them to do that we preach here. And so uh, it's a nice game. The, the game are, obviously, the games are, are very tough at this point. Playing against very good offenses, high-powered offenses. Uh, make you cover the whole field, the whole 53 and a third, uh, from sideline to sideline. Uh, check with me the coaches do the, what we call check with me and kind of take advantage of the weaknesses so you really really have to um, make sure your communication you know between the secondary and you know everybody is on point make sure that everybody's playing together make sure that everyone is playing as one unit uh, making sure that the calls get from the sideline from one corner all the way to the other corner so at least we're playing one defense good or bad we're all playing the same thing and that gives us a chance to win um, so the kids are doing the kids are doing a great job. They're doing a great job. They are doing what they're asked to do, and then some. Um, now we're at the point with the defense to where they're telling me what they see and 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 what they think will work. And um, sometimes if I make suggestions, they like no 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 let's let's do this let's do that or something like that. And I trust them. I'm at a point now where I can trust them. Where you know I got coaches on the field. I don't have to do everything from the sideline. Uh, and they come out there and, and let me know what's going on and say, hey, coach, this will work, that'll work. And that's uh, a tribute to them that uh, they've earned that right to do that. I don't just trust anyone, but they've earned that right to come and say, you know, let's do this, let's do that. And it works well for us. It works well for us. So um, having a lot of guys that are strictly defense, Obviously, we you know don't do that with our skills, but at least our box is strictly defense. Also helps. I can communicate with those guys. I can talk to them. You know, when the office is out there in the sideline, any adjustments we need to make or anything like that, you know, we can do that. Um, it's just a matter of trying to get the message to the skill guys and transition from offense to defense or special teams or something like that. But these guys are they're dogs, and I mean that in every sense of the way. And, you know, Garfield Bulldogs, but they're just dogs on the field, you know, just, they just go get it. And they're getting to the point to where they hold each other accountable. And I know, you know, with Fred, I tell them, I said, you're friends off the field, but your teammates on the field, and that's different. You know, you hold each other accountable on the field. You hold each other accountable in the weight room. You hold each other accountable in meetings. And they're, they're starting to get that. They're starting to, and then people are also starting to understand, not get upset or get offended when their friend off the field is telling them, uh, you know, when they're checking them uh, at the right time when it's football related. So we're, we're getting some leaders out there and we're very young still of our, you know, defense. We're losing one defensive end and everybody else is returning. And our offense, we're losing one offensive tackle and everyone else is returning. So I'm excited. Honestly, I think that, you know, I thought maybe we'll be in this position next year we will kind of build our way up to uh, be in this position next year. But when we uh, beat Franklin, I told him, hey, you know, next year is not promised. We're not going to be the same team. You know, people, you know, injuries happen, transfers happen, injury, uh, or, you know, people get sick, things like that. I said, we got to go get it now. We can't, we can't wait. We can't use the excuse of being young anymore or anything like that. So, now is the time. You know, it's no time like the present. And they did it. So I'm very proud of the guys. Very, very proud of them. You know, the way they the way they play. 
they 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 understand now during the game you're not a fan you're not a spectator we don't pay attention to the offense we don't know what's happening there's been a lot of stuff that i find out after the game i didn't know that happened including the classic i had no idea that it was a streaker that was on the field because we don't pay attention to the offense you know we just focus on what we do and we're not spectators we're not fans or anything like that we're here to do one job and that's not necessary to win the game, but that's to play our best defensively. And hopefully that's good enough to win the game. So very proud of the boys. They're getting it. They're understanding the culture, the philosophy, and um, they're, they're buying it. And that's, that wasn't something that was true at the beginning. And that wasn't something that was easy to do, but they had to see the success. They had to see that it works. That, and, and they had to trust me. They had to trust that when I say, you know, this is what's best and this is how we're going to do it, and then I really think the classic kind of, I think they kind of like, okay, coach, like we get it now. Cause everybody was locked in for that, of course. And I'm quite sure Rosie was too, but um, once they saw the success, I'm talking about defensively. I'm not talking about as a team or anything like that. I'm not talking about wins and losses. Just talking about strictly how the defense plays. Uh, once they saw the success in that, I think that's when they started to buy in and started like, okay, we can trust, you know, trust the coach. If he says this, then, you know, then let's give it a shot, let's do it. And then, so now everything is getting more and more equal between me and the players. And not only that, I, I gotta give it up to my coaches, my linebacker coaches, Coach Blue, Coach RJ, my secondary coach, they do a lot of work, man. They they put in a lot of work, a lot of time. Uh, and it's, it's countless, and I know Coach Hernandez gets all the credit, and if it's something with defense, I might get a little bit of the credit, but it's really those coaches and they, you know, they hold the players accountable and don't let them get away with anything. You know, sometimes I got to go be the good cop because maybe it might be a little bit too much a bad cop, but uh, give it up to the coaches, Coach Chuck, Coach Bear, Coach uh, Robley. You know, those guys are awesome. They hold the, they hold the guys accountable. They understand what's going on. Uh, and, and, and they, and I tell, the coaches that hey you are the head coach of your position you know so anything that happens out there is because you allowed it either either happened in practice and you didn't fix it or it'll, you are you allowed it so you are responsible and you are the head coach for your position not giving that freedom to make changes sub in sub out you know things like that if you know so uh, giving them a lot of responsibility i really think has helped them um uh, buy in because I'm not just telling them what to do. They understand they're responsible for their group and good or bad. And uh, so that's really helped out as well. Just everybody being on the same page. So thank you, Eastside. <laughs>